team still tracking that uh, the range with the Coast Guard with that cruise liner in the no-go zone. Uh, for, if for that reason we do not launch today, we do have a backup opportunity tomorrow at the same time, but weather is still looking amazing over there at the Cape. So with that, we're proceeding into the last couple minutes of the terminal count. Stage two locks load is complete. There's that call out that stage two locks loading is now complete on the second stage that completes loading for both first and second stage. Now you can see some venting there on your screen. That is the clearing of closeouts started. That's the clearing of the locks line on the transporter erector. And around T minus one minute, Falcon 9 will take over the launch countdown and the flight computers will begin to execute stored programs to prepare the vehicle for flight. Okay, now it isn't started. We have Falcon 9 in startup. Hold, hold, hold. Boarding launch auto. It's launch director calling a hold. We have a red range for a fouled range with a ship in the hazard area. And as you just heard, we did have a hold, hold, hold call on the countdown. That is because we had a watch item with the range. Uh, we did have a cruise liner uh, making its way towards the no-go zone uh, that the Coast Guard was unable to clear out uh, in time for T0 today. Um, but again, as we mentioned, we do have a backup opportunity tomorrow. So we will try one more time tomorrow. The vehicle is uh, still healthy, the payload is healthy, everything was looking good for an on-time liftoff today, aside from the range. Um, so we will try one more time tomorrow. Thank you for tuning in and we'll see you again soon.